personally, the game's okay. Like, it's not a bad game. I just... It's one of those games to where I just want to play it just to see how I do with it. And I like the team I have so far. I'm still trying to get the other two starters. And then I'll basically train all the starter Pokemon because I like to do that. But Oshawott was my one I picked. I'm just waiting to get those two and then just train the three of them. Some random King Dice Doodles. I like how that one turned out. Random pictures of Gorgon Ford I did. I don't know why I even drew half of these. More King Dice. Um, Red Sun Outfits. I like how I did this one. A lot of these references I found on Google. Another Red Sun Doodle. This is when I got into turning red. Oh my gosh, I fucking love this movie. Um, this is Miriam, Priya, and Abby when I first drew, when I first saw the, the, the um, movie. I hate how I did her ponytail here. I like how I drew the rest of her, but not her ponytail. Priya looks decent, and I like Abby's design and stuff. Here we got Mei Mei. I like how I drew her with half red panda form. I thought it was really cute. Here's some more um, Mei Mei and her red panda form and stuff. I really like how I drew her in this little like turning red theme spread. I actually like how this turned out. This was when I started um, drawing these guys on TikTok. Somehow my Abby one is like the most popular of the four of these, even though a lot of people have complained that I didn't do good with the skin tones for these. And I tried, I just, I couldn't find the right skin tones and I tried my best with it, but I do like how these turned out. Mainly these two up here, these two kind of need a little bit of work, but I'll eventually redraw these. I just, I haven't had a chance to, but I'm surprised that Abby one got like so many views. I was surprised at that because I like these two a lot better, but that's just me. Here we got some May and Miriam doodles because I fucking ship these two so much. It's so fucking adorable. I really like the shipping. Here's a picture of May May in her red panda form. I like how I drew her in my style. This movie is so fun to draw. It's not even funny. Like, I love drawing these guys in my style. They're just so fucking adorable. Here's some more doodles of May May in her red panda form. Here's um, Grunkle Ford X Bill shit because Jay likes that shit. So we also got little bills over here in this tiny ass little bill that I thought was kind of funny. Here's some pictures of May from Monkey Kid. I really like how these turned out. This one's probably my favorite along with this one. Um, here's the little thumbnail we did for Turning Red. It's kind of a basic one and I... I feel like I could have done better with this thumbnail, but I was just kind of in a rush to put out the video at the time. And then here's a little picture of like Red Sun when I found out he's got fucking long hair and he's so fucking cute. Like, damn, he looks nice with the long hair. Here are some more doodles of him with long hair. Here's some pictures of Circus Baby and Scrap Baby that I did because I like drawing Circus Baby. I don't draw her enough either, but she's really fun to draw. And then I tried to draw Scrap Baby. These are very sketchy stuff, but I like how I did this Circus Baby. I also did another one over here with some little puffy stickers. This one's decent though. And this is the part of the sketchbook where I'm like, I enjoyed doing this, but at the same time, why the fuck did I do this? But I saw this thing on Twitter where this person called Unknown Spy, go watch their shit, They're actually, they have like really good art. I saw that they had a little dress up tober kind of clothing challenge and I decided why don't I draw Jewel in some of these outfits. I decided to do like the entire month worth and then whichever ones I liked the most, I would just pick out and do a bigger picture of them. So this is basically days one through four. All the ones with the little hearts next to them are the ones I really like. And some of them I had to either modify a little bit to make it a little bit more PG. Or I just ended up like not drawing very much of it. So, so here's the first four days. Here's days five through eight. I didn't draw some of them because they did not look right. 
Um, this one turned out good. I like how I did that one as well. These two are probably my favorite of all the outfits. I really like these tool, two of them, and I like how Jewel looks in both of them. Um, this one looks kind of cute too. Some of these I just couldn't draw. After a while, I ended up taking a break from drawing Jewel and just did just wanted to practice just the outfits. But I'll explain that in a minute. The, these two are other ones that I really like. I like how I drew Jewel in both of these. These it basically fit them as well, along with these two. I could definitely see them wearing these two outfits and these two outfits on the regular. And then um, just some like other like little doodles. I just basically just made like a base and just kind of like drew the rest of those, at least right there. These were some outfits that I wasn't that big on. Um, and then I started drawing Jewel again. I like how I did this one and I like how I did this one. I think they're both really cute outfits. Not my favorites that I've done, but they're cute. And then here are the last two. For that, I like how I did the dragon looking like outfit. This is probably another one of my favorites. So the outfits that I really liked, I ended up redrawing because some of them I just did. Oh, hold on. Some of them I just did like small little sketches of them just to kind of practice drawing clothes because I don't draw clothes enough. Or at least variety of them. So I decided, let me try and draw the other one, the, like the other ones that I really liked. So here's probably one of my favorites of Jewel. Here's another one I really liked. This one I thought looked really cute. Same with that one. This one's probably one of my favorites outfits that I drew her in. I mean, I mean them in. Another outfit I really like drawing them in. Here's another cute one. I really like how I drew them in like a lot of these poses. Some of them are kind of just basic while some of them are look are pretty good. I like this one too. Here's when Owl House started coming back out again with two, season 2B. Two Here's some Willow drawings I did. I really like how I did these two up here. I love her new hair. She's so fucking adorable. This was from like a, um, a series I saw on YouTube called Changed. Don't go look at it if you are under the age of 18. But these were like not very, th these aren't very sexual at all. So I just drew them in here just because I wanted to draw the character designs. Some of them are just kind of basic, but not really much. And then here's Dipper and, I mean, Dipper and Mabel that I drew. We also got. The Calamity Trio from Amphibia. I drew them with some cottage core themed looking outfits. Um, I've only seen a little bit of Amphibia. I haven't watched much of it, but from what I have seen, I do like the characters in it. I just, I have to be in the mood to watch more of it. It's decent. I like Owl House a lot better than Amphibia, but I like the care these three characters. I like um Anne, Marcy, and Sasha. They're both, all they're three of them are like really sweet and I ship. The three of them together is like a poly couple <laughs> kind of thing. But I do ship Marsan and Sashan as well, but I mainly ship the three of them together. Here we got the Ghost of Molly McGee doodles of Molly and Libby. Um, me and Jay ended up watching this for a podcast. We haven't done the thumbnail for it yet, but I plan on doing it in the next like couple of days. Here's Andrea that I drew as well. Caramel Arrow Cookie, because I'm trying to draw more of the newer Cookie Run characters, because I have not drawn that many of them in, like, a while. Here's Pizza Cookie and Dr. Bones Cookie that I drew. Affogato Cookie, which I actually really like how I drew this. I just wish I kind of, like, fixed the hair up here. Here's some of the Rambutan Cookie Village characters. I just decided to draw them because I liked the designs of them. Here we have Molly dressed up as, um, I forgot the character. I think it was Millie with the blue hair. I really like her with the blue hair. I wish she kind of stuck with the blue hair. I thought it was really cute on her, but that's just my opinion. More Red Sun doodles that I did. I like how I did these two. This one's probably one of my favorite doodles of Red Sun in this entire sketchbook. I love how I fucking drew him here. This was when I was like, 
watching clips of like nostalgic stuff. I've never seen the, the gummy bears, but I really want to. And I decided to draw all the characters and stuff. And I really like how they turned out in my style. Here's Sonia from Sonic and stuff. Cause I, me and Jay ended up watching the new Sonic the Hedgehog movie. It got me back into Sonic a little bit. So I've been watching kind of just nostalgic stuff from the Sonic franchise. Um, here's some pictures of Jay Sona that I drew. These two are my favorites. I also got some more doodles of my Sona that I did. I like how I did these two. Syntax from Monkey Kid. I don't really like how I drew them in here. I honestly should have like redrew these, but whatever. Roger and Jessica Rabbit from Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Just some little doodles I did of them. We also got another little doodle of the two of them here. They're fucking couple goals, like damn. And then every once in a while, I haven't been into Care Bears in forever, but I, every once in a while, I like to draw some of the newer characters for Care Bears because they look adorable. So here's Dream Bright Bear. I like how I drew her. She's probably my favorite of the new Care Bears I drew. Here's some little doodles of her to prove that. Here's I Care Bear. I still can't believe that's even a name for this guy. Um, more pictures of Jay Sona. Sweet Message Bear. I like how I drew her. I just wish I did a different pose. Um, little spread here. And this is, um, Care -a -Lot Bear for the 40th anniversary of Care Bears. I, I think it's a cute design. Did I execute it well? Probably not. 